students and just good kids and have values and morals. Um, that was some real deep spiritual work that we did. And man, you've been helping people doing philanthropic work and just giving as long as I can remember. And never enough. Yeah, I know. No, I know you're gonna say never not. enough, but never what? Enough. What? You've seen more. You've seen miraculous things take place in the lives of others, people who you've helped and you cared about. How does that make you feel as a giver? Like you're a God-born giver. And how does that make you feel to see the fruits of your labor? Like, wow, I saw this at this point. I gave of myself. I see it at this point. How does that make you feel? I feel blessed. Okay. You know, it's... Because I have this kind of connection with you, mm-hmm. my life is blessed. So I don't, I'm get, I get something from it. Okay. You know, I, I, this relationship especially is one of those forever relationships in our lives. Mm-hmm. But I don't think in those kinds of terms that you're okay. asking me to think. In. Okay, I just wanted to cross your mind, you know. <laughs> no, I you think. Could say oh that, my wow, God! You know, it's you so laid awesome, out, and you're doing. If you laid out everyone, so great! I'm every, so proud of you, and <sighs> but you've done it all. You've done it all for sure. I just wanted to introduce the world to you because you're a kind and beautiful spirit, and I think people need to mimic. You know the the trends that you've set. You know, and you're not you're not even from Baltimore. No. And you know you've changed the lives of so many children in Baltimore. That's just that's yeah, noteworthy. I, know, but I, don't that, think that way. I know she doesn't well, think that way, that y'all. But I'm letting you know that. True. You know, it's just such a big deal. Like you're a world changer. You know, Winslow Dynasty, we're world changers. Me and Mashika, Jedi is going to be a world changer. Changer. We we seek to be connected to and foster those kinds of people you know you you are a role model um for giving and i want to be like that and many other people who some people are scared to be that way some people are not born that way we get that but for those who have that inkling to you know go to a homeless shelter to teach kids after school to give free private lessons to you know, perform music for elderly people, for those who have that in them, I think it's the great reward, like you say, is what you get from it. And also, ultimately, you know, it's like you're doing God's work. I mean, I'm a man of faith, and I think when you give, you know, you mimic God. God is a giver. He gives life. He gives second chances. He gives hope. Uh, he, He blesses people with health. And whenever we mimic that giving, I think we change the world and we help heal the world and we help inspire other people to want to to give and be better humans. And we help heal ourselves. And we help heal ourselves because we also need healing. So what's our next project? Next project? I don't know. I mean, we're doing well with this music, Motivating Minds. Yeah. That's that's amazing. Um, We're changing kids' lives now in Baltimore City. I think the end goal for me, I think I want to Maybe either build a school. I saw that in your... Or I want to have like artist housing where musicians can live at low subsidized rent but create great art and not have to worry about getting three jobs. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because artists are set aside to me. Um, I think that's... Those are like two big... I I want to probably do more children's music but have a radio station or have an outlet where kids can have the option to listen to music that's appropriate for them, but it still be hard, you know. Yeah. You know, Jay Z type songs, except it's just for kids, you know, mm-hmm. and it's not dumbed down. It's actually a slick song, no profanity, no n word, but it feels aggressive and it feels like yeah, I want a party to this because all the kids these days they listen to the same thing grown ups listen to, and that's not cool. You know, you can't take grown up pills if you're a kid. You know, you can't get romantic yeah. if you're a kid. You just have to live a kid's life and we should be separate and, you know, and 
certain contexts. So I think I want to continue to make music for children. Eventually, we'll get to building a school and uh, change the world one kid at a time. We should ad adopt a school. Adopt a school. That's a good idea. We should. Like pick a school. Start in that. small. Pick. Right. Pick you a school pick that's a school. already existing. Okay. You pick a school. And you know, work with the principal and mm -hmm. teachers, see what they need. I mean, that's a good even idea. Where I live, you know, people need sheets for their beds and they need towels. And, right. Um, I think it's when you have a specific school, it's sort of it's easier to say to your friends, hey, you know, can you donate 12 washcloths? Or, right. Um, that are going to directly you know, go to people or, and help them. You know, $100 will enable the teacher to buy books for the classroom. Because, you know, so many of the teachers spend their own money. Definitely the teachers spend their own money. Yeah, we had to do that. We had to donate together. We wanted to. But we realize, yo, some of these kids, they won't have a good Christmas. They won't have gifts. They don't have books. They don't have book bags, pencils. Some don't have toothpaste. Shoes. Yeah, shoes, winter coats, you know, a lot of teachers. That's why I just love teachers. And they should get so much more money. Every teacher should make two or $300,000 standard. Teachers should make what congressmen make. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You should get a fat check, health insurance, no problem, and then you teach the world how to be. Well, how important are the kids, you know? Exactly. And at the school I taught, they paid us a great salary. And I think that's part of the reason why they were able to get such good teachers. Because when you pay people a lot of money, you mm -hmm. get good help. You pay them a little bit of money, and people are like, well, I don't take the job. But was it a city school? It was a city school, but subsidized by a private yeah, yeah. corporation. That was the advantage for at least finding good help and paying them a lot of money. Um, but, you know, because there was no union situation, which is a whole political conversation, you know, the city wasn't happy about that. No. But, but we still got to change kids' lives in a major way. Is you know, school still No, they don't exist, exist anymore. Oh. No, they left. It didn't work. They worked for about five or six years. and then. Was it a charter school? Charter school, yeah. Yeah, no, it definitely threatened the union. Definitely threatened the union. But it was an amazing, it was miraculous. Like, if you could see, and I have video footage, if you could see some of the kids, like the CD we put together, put out, and, you know, like I said, we opened for the Black Eyed Peas, won the competition, flew some of the kids to Nashville. They'd never been on an airplane. You know, they still hit me on Facebook and text me and Twitter, and Mr. Winslow, I'm in college. You know, Mr. Winslow, I still Aww. like that song. I'm going to make it, and I love school. You know, remember we, you know, like, it's like something was turned on in them mm -hmm. by just singing such positive music with enthusiasm, you know, and the love I and other teachers poured into them, and it was just life changing. It just wasn't a regular job for us. It was like, you know, yeah. we were psychiatrists and psychologists uh -huh. and healers, and, you know, we were like their parents. You know, magical mm -hmm. experience. So I just wanted to just document you know a piece of our relationship and let the world know how much I love Esther and when she could love Esther and Jedi loves Esther um, one of Jedi's godparents and we just <laughs> we pray for you constantly I pray for you and I always I want need to, all your prayers I honey. know <laughs> I always want you to be happy when I don't talk to you in a while I just want to check on and make sure you know you're okay I pray for your children I tell them that all the time that you know they'll always have favor with me and my family and uh, yeah I can't say enough good things. I'm I'm glad we were able to meet each other in this lifetime in this walk, and I, and I hope I make you proud. You know you do. You awesome. know you do. All right, that's Winslow Dynasty okay. blog. Love you, little piece of my life. Enter the dynasty. <laughs>